good hands at Mike and two to open the show. Oh, it was of course. Really nice. <laughs> Pretty good matchup, too, for week four to start things off. A little surprising, though, that both Smithson Valley and Steele have combined for three early season losses so far. Yeah, Steele with a close loss last week against one of the top three teams in the state, DeSoto. Meantime, Smithson Valley riding a two-game winning streak after squeaking by Madison a week ago. Well, sloppy night everywhere because of the wet stop. And looky what happens to Steele on the second play from scrimmage. Christian Castro forces the fumble, and Randy Rios is Randy on the spot. He's headed the other way in a quick 7-0 lead for Smithson Valley. Next possession. And this time, LG Williams can't find the ears with a snap. Ball is loose, and that is another turnover with the Rangers recovering. That's going to lead to this. Cord given. Takes a licking, but keeps on ticking. Dives into the end zone. They're up two scores early are the Rangers. A little bit later, here comes another punch. Josh Adkins deciding anything that's worth doing is worth doing yourself and doing it right. Calls his own number, and that number is 8675309. Actually, it's six. <laughs> Smithson Valley up three TDs early, but Steele comes roaring all the way back. They score every single point the rest of the way, and we weren't there for any of it. 31 20 to final. Last year, Brendan had the best defense in the state heading into the playoffs, but the Bears lost two big-time D1 recruits. They're still giving up just eight points a game coming into tonight's matchup with Marshall. Out to Ferris Stadium we go. The Bears attacking early and often in this game. Nick Moore grabs a sack lunch. Nom, nom, nom. Forces Marshall to punt. That's when things go from bad to worse for Marshall. Snap goes out of the end zone for a safety. It's two zip Brennan, and after getting good field position, Tavion Tolfrey drives through the express lane for a 15-yard touchdown run. Nice finish there as well. Bears up 8-0 at that point. Let's check the updated score here. Our number one squad is rolling in the fourth quarter over Marshall. 48 to nothing. Lee Volunteers riding a three-game winning streak into district play against Johnson over at Blossom. Johnson with the second half lead, 13-3, and lucky for more. Josh Thiessen flips it out to Dylan Pouncey and you can tell the track a little slick out there tonight, boys. Watch your footing. <laughs> a little bit later, and Mike Morgan going to heed our warning. Gets the edge, stays on his feet, and he's going to score. But there was an illegal block in the back, so the TD didn't count. Jags had to settle for three. Johnson also playing some defense in this one, though. Brett Lacombe, free shot on the quarterback. He's going to have some help finishing him off. And Johnson, this game is tight. But Johnson does hang on to get the victory. Next up, this is New Braunfels and Wagner in this one. And a nice shot of the homecoming king and queen there. But here's what you all came for, football highlights. Off the kickoff, Wagner going to get the ball here. Three plays later, they fumble. This is New Braunfels lineman Marcus Bell with the recovery there. Four New Braunfels, no touchdowns from our cameras in this game, but let's check in the updated score here, please. Wagner goes on to win this game 27-0, the final. And Sam Marcus coming down here to play Memorial tonight, and right now they're up 32 points in the fourth quarter against the Minutemen. Alamo Heights hosting Lockhart. The Mules are already up 31-0 in the third. Get ready for some more. Mitchell Abramson making the pick on defense here. Nice play, just stepped right in front of that crossing route. And look at him put on some moves as well. It's only a half hour show there, buddy. Get down on the turf. This leads to Dalton Banks. Cash money to Colton Horney as he hauls it in in the back of the end zone as the Mules go on to win big tonight, 52 to 20, the final. And let's check out a couple scores here. In the fourth quarter, Jernington up 28 to six over Hector Ledesma's Central Catholic Buttons. And Lytle and Bandera postponed because of the weather. South San on the road at Antonia tonight. And good to see Daniel Rosenfeld back in that lineup. You know, we missed him last week on TNL because of a bum ankle. But, you know, the Apaches missed him even more than we did. And he's a huge part of their offense, the main cog in the wheel. And it showed tonight. Coach Fuschak wanted to save this guy for some of the bigger games. Boy, he looked fresh tonight. Had a big run there and then finished it off. 33 to nothing. The Apaches go on to win this ball game rather easily tonight. And as we take a look at a few more scores, 
Wow, Kerrville Tivy, mm -hmm. the number nine team in our TNO, TNL top 10 poll. They are putting it on Kennedy in the third quarter. Southside, boy, it's been a wonderful season for those guys too. And they are rolling to yet another victory. They're at Eagle Pass win tonight and it is 34 to seven. Harlandale trying to keep Highlands from getting its first win of the season. And Chuck, I'm gonna have to ask you for some help on this one. Actually, this is Jacob Delgado. Look at that, pump fake. Throws it to the corner. Beautiful touchdown play there for the Indians. They take a 6-0 lead. Then they go for the extra point. That's not going to do it. I do not have the name of this guy running back, although he does not bring it all the way back for two points for Highlands. Regardless, Harlandale comes away with a 20 to nothing victory. He's on. 17. He was, he was number 17. Hey, you Remember know what? I'll take it. By Winger? <laughs> with, with no info, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, and to the scoreboard, East Central up 27-17 over Delario in the fourth. And Poteet, despite eating those Garcia strawberries, just not enough against Natalia tonight. 46-6, the final out there. McCollum, Burbank, it's wet, but people still showing up at SAISD <laughs> for the showdown. Burbank on the move, and with a 6-0 lead, Daniel Tello. Daniel Tello. Daniel Tello. And hello, Enzo. 93 yards and a cloud of dust. Kicking up all kinds of wet stuff on everybody's visors. <laughs> so Burbank was up 12-0 in the second, and McCollum, they're going to finally get it going on offense. Mike Ramirez. No way, really? Wow. Mike Ramirez. And he's gonna score another huge play. It was 12-7 at that point, and that was the last score that we got out there in the fourth quarter. Burbank trying to hang on, up five, late in the ball game. Elsewhere, Sinton and Lavernia playing it tough. Look at that, our number three team right now on the ropes at home against Sinton and Crystal City Taking it to their opponent tonight in the fourth quarter, Alto 41-7 in the fourth. Undefeated Bernie Champion, our fourth-ranked squad, taking on a really tough Lotusville team. The Tigers are three and one coming in. Second quarter, they're trailing 14 zip, and the Chargers trying to keep it that way. They gang tackle the quarterback in the BC red zone, but the Tigers keep clawing. First, Kobe Wilkerson calls his own number. With a name like Kobe, you should have known he wasn't going to pass. Of course, he makes the <laughs> right decision too. Takes it down to the one foot line. Next play, Kobe doing work. Finishes the job with a touchdown run. Chargers still lead 14-6 at halftime though. And the Chargers go on to win 31 to 14, the final. We are just getting started here on High School to the Max. Coming up, Reagan stubbed its toe on opening night, but the Rattlers have been lights out ever since. We'll see how they're doing with sophomore sensation Telling Mon leading the way. Plus, we'll give you a look at Poe. They're in a smaller class, but they sure play big. That and more right after the break. Stick around. What's happening outside? Just your basic laws of attraction. Oh, our great Nissan lineup combined with low prices. Buy this Sentra SR for just $16,995. Or buy this Altima 2.5S for just $18,988. And when you buy from Ansira, you'll get a $50 gift certificate from Bourbon Street Seafood Kitchen. Isn't that Newton's Law? Here's Newton's Law. Ansira Nissan on I-10 West between Wurzbach and Heapner. Newsweek.com has named Thomas J. Henry one of the top 10 personal injury attorneys in the nation. What does it mean to be one of the country's top attorneys? It means getting the results our clients depend on. If you've been injured, call Thomas J. Henry Injury Attorneys today, 210-656-1000, or visit us online at tjhlaw.com. Rush to the 2014 model year-end closeout at North Park Toyota of San Antonio. Every 2014 model is posted with our final reduction. Rush can get a new 2014 Corolla automatic at just $16,895 or 0% 60-month financing. Then get a two-year no-cost maintenance plan. 
rushed to the only Toyota President's Cabinet Award winner in Texas, North Park Toyota of San Antonio. I-35 South, exit 144, and NorthParkToyota.com. Put yourself in the red zone at Red McCombs Toyota. Score big on deals on new Toyotas. 2015 Toyota Corolla, only $189 a month. 2014 Tundra Crew Max, $289 a month. Are you in the red zone yet? Get a 2014 and a half Camry for just $139 a month for this month only. Put yourself in the red zone and score big on a new Toyota on I-10 West at Callahan or RedMcCombsToyota.com. This is Red McCombs, and I approve this message. Well, Reagan riding a three-game winning streak and riding the hot hand of young Kellen Mond through it all. Playing Roosevelt tonight. Nothing wrong with this kid's arm. TD pass to Luke Mitchum. Makes it 7-0 Reagan. Mon, well, he's doing it all tonight as usual. Scrambling, running away from trouble, and then flipping it out to Skyler Wetzel on the 14-yarder right there. 13-zip early, and Reagan rolling now. It's gone final, 47-13. Clemens and Judson, backyard brawl. Rockets have been having problems here with the opening kick. Oh, we're having problems focusing. <laughs> Here it comes. We're building some wow. uh, anticipation for this kick, aren't we? Indeed we are. Why Better don't we just do one. the game live? <laughs> a little pooch kick. Oh, and there there's a mad scramble, and the buffs are there for the recovery. That led to a field goal. And then a little bit later, Judson has the same problem. Had a little bit of a problem fielding the ball. And that led to another field goal. And let's take a look at the score right now as you see the ball get snapped over the head. Judson's rallied, though. They got a three-point lead in the fourth. Poth is the number one team in our Noteworthy Nine poll. The Pirates undefeated coming into tonight's game against 3-1 Ingram Moore. Set out to Poth High School. Third quarter, Pirates trailing 14-8, and Kobe Pruski trying to change that. Does a great job following his blockers and moving the pile. First down, Pirates. Moments later, they're facing a fourth down, and Pruski is up to the task once again. Picks up another first to keep the drive alive. But the Warriors kill it on their next fourth down. Relentless effort by Ryan Bonham on this play. He's going to get the sack for Ingram Moore. Warriors up eight at that point. And our number one team in our noteworthy nine poll falls tonight by one point at home to Ingram Moore. And a quick check of the scoreboard. Nixon Smiley, 28-7 over Catula in the fourth. And Fall City, our number seven team in our noteworthy nine, also trailing. 21 to 7. Brutal. Warren and Holmes playing over to Gus, and yeah, we're telling no about the flood. I guess it did rain tonight from what I understand, but it certainly didn't hurt the Warren passing attack. Tristan Miller. Ball is up, and when it comes down, Dennis Houston there to make a nice diving grab. 9 nothing Warren. A few minutes later, they get the ball back, and Adric Robinson. This young man really can run the football. Yeah, I just said it was 9 nothing. I realize that. <laughs> Thank you. Let's proceed. Adric Robinson. Is he going to score? No, he's down at the three. But the man's working so hard tonight. Just give him the six. 27-7, yes. Warren, your winner. Marion and Odom playing tonight as well. Odom right now with a lead in that one. And Mathis, a six-point lead over Stockdale on the fourth. Brack looking for its third win of the season, taking on Lanier over at the shiny new rock pile. Starting the third quarter, that's Joey Orta punching it in from four yards out. Lanier up 13-7 at that point, and let's see how the Vokes are doing at this point. They still lead 13-7 in the fourth quarter. And back to the scoreboard. St. Mary's Hall gets the forfeit win over this one, over St. Gerard's in this game, and then Carn City shuts out LaPrior 27-0, the final there. Up next, just to show you it's not always about football on a Friday night, the Jefferson Volleyball Squad showing something to the rest of the area and flying way under the radar while doing so. If you're a college recruiter, their star player is very much available. Hector has the Mustang story next. Stay with us. We're the Bernie Champion Charger Cheerleaders, and you're watching High School to the Max. Woo! 